Hello everyone and welcome to Volusia Reads Dream, which stands for Science, Technology, Reading, Engineering, Art, and Math. I'm Miss Laura from the Port Orange Regional Library and I have a question for you. Do you ever read fun and exciting adventure stories and wished that you could be part of the action? Do you ever wish that the things that happen in these books actually happen in your own life? Well, I do. Every time I read one of these stories, I wish that I had a little more adventure in my own life. And so I decided to do something about it. Every day here in the library, I carry books. <laughs> I bring books from one end of the library to the other and I deliver them to people and I love it. But I think it could be a little bit more fun, exciting, and adventurous. So I decided to create a way to bring my books across the library in a more adventurous way. I decided to use a zip line. Do you know what a zip line is? It's where you have a string and you ha or a rope and you have it at an angle. So it goes up from up high to down low and then you put an object on it and you allow it to zoom or zip down the line using friction and gravity to get it to move and you can let things travel in a fun and new way, going zoom down the line. So I decided to do that with my books. I created this. It's a folder to hold my book. And on each end of the folder, I've attached a rubber band. And then from the rubber bands, I have some paper clips. And those can hook over my string and allow my book to travel across the library. Let me show you what I did. Now that you have seen my zipline adventure through the library, I'm gonna show you how you can make a zipline too. The first thing you'll need is something that you can use to create your line. So you could try using string like I did today. You could use fishing line. You could try ribbon, rope, anything that you have around your home that could create that line. And what you're going to do is you're gonna tie one of it, one end of it up high and then have the other end tied down low so that you create an angle because you want gravity to be able to pull your object down so it does need to be at an angle. Experiment, try different angles and see how quickly that allows your object to move or how slowly it moves at certain angles. You'll also need something that you can put on the line that will allow your object to move. So I, you could use a tube like this one if you have one of those around your home. You could also try using different clips like I did earlier. I used a paper clip. You could try any object that will, could hook to this line and then also allow your object to continue moving. Something to know is that this will create friction. It will create resistance as it moves down the line. So you want to experiment and see what the different objects you use, how that quickly they're able to move or how slowly they're able to move. Just play around, see what you can do with the things that you have around your home. You'll also want to have an object to send. I'm going to send a bunch of toys right now and show you what happens with each of them and the ways that I've decided to hook them to the line. First is the simplest. All you'll need is a rubber band <laughs> and a paper clip or some way to hook your rubber band to the line and still allow it to move. So first one, I have this rubber chicken. Look at him. <laughs> and he just has a rubber band um, wrapped around him and that paper clip. And I'm going to hook it to the line and let them speed down. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Flying rubber chicken. Let's do it again with something a little bit heavier and see if it will work just as smoothly. Know that this is all an experiment. Play, have fun, and see what happens with your different objects. I have this dinosaur that's a little heavy. I put a rubber band around him and that paper clip, and let's see what happens. <laughs> that one was really fun. Oh. I've also created some containers for my toys so that I could see what happens when I send them that way. I made a simple container just using a cup. I poked some holes in it and tied some string through. And again, I have my paper clip because that's probably my favorite thing to use up there at the top. And I can hook that on. Now I just need to put something in it. 
How about my little stuffed animal? He's a little big for the cup. <laughs> One thing to note when you're sending something light like this down, you might have to add a little bit of weight to it. You could use a rock, a marble, anything you have around the house to add a little weight. Again, just experiment. Let's see what happens with my tiger. There he goes, so much fun. I also made a container um, for my objects just using a container that was gonna be recycled. This was holding some food. Again, I just put a string at the top and my paper clip at the top. Let's see, open it up. For this one, I'm going to send a note <laughs> and a rubber duck. <laughs> Let's see what happens with him. Let's send him down. There he goes, so much fun. Well, I have one more I wanna show you. And with this one, all I use is a clothes hanger and some clothes pins. And you can attach a larger object this way. So I've got my stuffed octopus on here and I've clipped him on and I'm gonna let him zoom down the zip line. There he goes. <laughs> so much fun to experiment, try different ways of sending your objects down and just play and have fun. But I encourage you to try this at home. Create your own zip lines around your house. Have a little bit of an adventure in your own home using your toys or any, or your books or anything you would like to send down it. I encourage you also to go to volusialibrary.org slash kids. Look at our digital resources for all kinds of other ideas of fun stream activities you can do at home. You can also check out some wonderful books from our library that will encourage activities just like this. I thank you for being here with me today. I hope that your life is full of adventures like mine was today. And we will see you next time for another Volusia Read stream. Bye.